ProValueNet has been serving North Central Oklahoma, providing fast, reliable internet service to rural homes and businesses since 1996. There's a lot of questions and misconceptions about the internet and how it works. Very common questions are what is a bit, what is a byte, and what is the difference? So let's start at the beginning. Computers read binary numbers. Binary digits are the ones and zeros you hear about. It takes eight bits to represent single characters of a text. One character of a text uses a combination of eight ones and zeros. For example, the letter A is 01100001 in binary. A combination of eight ones and zeros becomes a byte. This was purposely misspelled so it would not be confused with bit. So in other words, eight bits makes up a byte. A bit is abbreviated with a lowercase b, while a byte is abbreviated with an uppercase b. An easy way to remember this is that bits, little b, are smaller than bytes, big b. Also, did you know? A random fact is that there's also a nibble. A nibble is only four bits or half of a byte. Nibbles are mostly important to tiny computers called microprocessors, but let us get back on track. For a larger number of bits and bytes, we use standard scientific prefixes for large multiples. Kilo is a 1000 multiplier, so a kilobit is 1000 bits. Eight kilobits make up a kilobyte, which makes a kilobyte 8000 bits. Mega is one million multiplier. A megabit is one million bits. Eight megabits make up a megabyte. A megabyte is equal to eight million bits. There is also a giga, which is a 1000 multiplier, which means a gigabyte is 1000 megabytes or eight billion bits. Megabits are commonly used to measure wired and wireless internet connection download and upload speeds. And why do internet providers use megabits? Because bits can come out of order and from different server locations, so it is more accurate to measure speed as a factor of the number of bits per second that an internet connection can transmit versus the total number of bytes. Megabytes are used to measure storage capacity. They are useful in representing storage space on a hard drive, a digital file size, and the size of an email attachment. They are used to represent how fast storage devices transfer data from one another because of going from only one source to another. Understanding internet speed is important for internet users. With companies advertising one gig high-speed internet, how much do you really need? The answer is, what are you using internet for? Are you streaming on multiple devices? Are you just surfing the web? Are you gaming? It is important to really look at your internet needs when choosing a speed. Let's look at streaming movies, shows, and online gaming. For streaming and gaming, download speeds are important. Popular streaming services like Netflix and Hulu only need three megabits per second to stream in standard definition, five to six megabits per second to stream in high definition, and Netflix's 4K streaming only needs 25 megabits per second, two to three megabits per second for online gaming, and five plus megabits per second for downloading games are the recommended download speeds. Online browsing ties up very little download speed at a time because it only uses it while loading a page. For live streaming, look at upload speeds. Depending on the quality of the content, recommended upload speeds start as little as three megabits per second. It is important to look at internet speeds as how much will you use concurrently. For example, a home that streams a movie on the TV and browses the internet on two phones all at the same time, 10 megabits per second download is more than enough. For more information about bits, bytes, and or ProValueNet speeds and services, please contact us. You can call us at 405-624-6000, check us out online at www.ProValue.net, or stop by our office at 801 South Main Street, Suite 1.